Hello everybody, welcome back to another video today, and today we are back on Minecraft with another redstone tutorial. It's been a while since we've done one of these. I've been mainly focusing on Megacraft recently because I've been wanting to get as many videos out of that as I can, but I've kind of hit a small roadblock as I'm not really sure what to do on that right now. So I decided to come into my redstone void world and come up with a redstone contraption. And today I have I am giving you my sh uh, sugarcane farm. There are probably ones similar to it in design. But I did create myself and without the use of tutorials and or videos. So yeah. Anyway, um, I did build this to allow room up to four. Your sugar cane growing up to four high. I am not sure if sugar cane grows that high. I based this off the wiki page uh, on Mojang, so I'm pretty sure it grows four high. So yeah, you should be good. If not, um, if later on I find out that. It doesn't grow four high and does grow only three high. I will uh, redesign this bit out the back and re-upload this video. Anyway, um, on at, I did a lot of stutter there. My bad. Anyway, now that we got that out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and list the materials that you are going to need to build this machine. So first off, you are, you're going to need two water buckets, sixty-four blocks of your choice, eleven sticky pistons. 11 dirt, 1 chest, 1 hopper. The light blue stained glass is a personal preference, that way it keeps the sugar cane when the pistons hit it from going flying everywhere. 11 redstone dust, 11 observers, 22 redstone repeaters, and 1 quartz slab. Now, the amount of sticky pistons observers and repeaters you need can change based on how much dirt you have dirt you want to use because you can expand this as far as you really want just if for every one dirt you add add one sticky piston one observer and two redstone repeaters anyway we're going to go ahead and get on with the build if you look over here as i have outlined the build in yellow and black concrete you are going to want a nine by thirteen area to be able to build this in now i know i do have the two extra blocks out the front uh and if you really want to count it three but the chest is there um but i would just recommend that we have a little extra space to work with anyway we're going to go over here now uh what my game kind of catch up with itself there we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab our quartz or 64 blocks for choice we can go one two three and then for five high from the ground that you are building on you're going to go over here to the very opposite side of the area that you are building in you can go up five more now let's count there four and five and we're going to take our 11 dirt and just place it in the middle between these two pillars now that's, that's now I'm going to take my stained glass, this can change based on preference. I just kind of think it kind of looks cool, so I kind of go with it. Make sure I have the exact number here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so this would be the middle, so we're going to break this block. We're going to go in here, we're going to grab our chest. Do that, and then we're going to grab our hopper place it there. Now with that we're going to go in here, we're going to grab our quartz slab, we're going to place that right there, we're going to grab our two wire buckets, we're going to place one wire bucket there, the black spot, oh, my bad. That would be my bad, I messed that one up. And we're going to place that there. That way they all meet in the middle where the hopper is. And then the sugar cane will go into the chest. And then that's there to keep the water from flowing out everywhere. Now that that's done, we're going to go out the back. Just to keep it looking nice in my opinion, I'm going to do this. We're going to fill out this whole bag for the whole five high. The black spike there. And there's 
is that done? Now we're, I'm going to put this in up here at the top. Do that. Now with this top uh, layer of blocks, you're going to want to take that off. And replace it with observers with the face going that way. So you're going to want to place it from behind. Now with that, we're going to take more of our blocks. Probably have used over 64 by now, but uh, I haven't really taken the time to get an exact count. We're going to go across the back right there. Now on this back, we're going to take our the first of our repeaters. This will be 11 repeaters that we're going to use at first. Uh, the other 11 will come in later. We're going to put this on a four tick delay all the way at the back. So you're going to want to click it one, two, three times to get it to four tick delay. There we go. That's the first part of it done. Now we're going to grab this. Now you're going to want to shift click to get to place these blocks. After you get the first one placed, you can just go across, going all the way across. Yeah, that would be my bad there. And there we go. That's that bit done. Now we got to place more blocks once again. Now what I would recommend doing is why you can go ahead and get that set up too. Well then, that's embarrassing. I have my own board. Okay, well, let me quickly grab everything back. I'll grab it all from this, I guess. All we really need now is the is this stuff. Everything else has been used. So now what we're gonna do is that we have this bit done now on the face right here we're going to want to place our sticky pistons now that's the only one i have ever been able to really place without having to go up front break all of these blocks And then you place all your sticky pistons in all on a row, like so. Oh, my game is starting to like spray all the water, honestly. Plus, my OBS is being has been trashed the last few days. That wasn't like that was just playing stupidity right there. Anyway, we're gonna go and get all of this filled in. There we go, that's that bit done. And with that done, uh, our next bit of work will be placed more repeaters. And this will be the last few repeaters. You're gonna place them right here. Now, I forget if you gotta do two ticks or one tick delay. Two or three ticks, it's one or the other. I forget which one. So I'm probably gonna have to check the original build over here. It is three ticks, so you wanna do it one, two times. Do each of these repeaters two times each. Uh, shift click and place the rest of your blocks going straight across here. And now for the last piece, basically, unless you want to make it look nice like I do with the light blue stained glass, 
Just place all your redstone dust going straight across here. And there you go, you, the redstone part of that stone, I personally, just because I like the way it looks, I'm going to grab my sugar. Well, this is the part where you grab your sugar cane. And then you will go in here. Now, you can do this really any stage after you place in the, the dirt itself. I'm trying to think of it. I don't think the gra grass can grow under it. I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, it does. See, it's growing over here. Just takes a long time. Anyway, um, once we do that, we can close it in. And I'm going to leave this section unclosed except for right here right now. Just to give an example that it actually does work. Finish this. Give a little bit of an demonstration of how of it actually working. And this build both looks nice and it functions, so that's pretty cool. I tried when building it. I was trying to get make sure it would stay compact, but also look nice and wouldn't be all ugly with redstone sticking out here and there. Anyway, now that we have that done, just to prove that this thing actually does work, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to flip in here real quick. Uh, ignore that background noise, that was the game that I had installing. That explains some of my lag that I'm actually getting right now. Because I do have a game installing in my background, so, yeah. We're going to get them all up to right below. Now, if I actually knew how to edit and time lapse, I would edit ahead right now where this all gets broken. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do just place all the glass right here, break that. It was a bit laggy on my screen, but as you see, it all works. A uh, majority of the sugar cane will actually make it into the thing, but every now and then you will get sugar cane that hangs off there. There isn't really a system that I could come up with to fix that. I tried basically everything I could without it, and that way it stays 100% automatic. You don't really have to touch anything, except whenever you really want your sugar cane, you can go in here and grab it. Um, or you can have it run into your own personal storage system. That way, you never really have to do anything except for when you want it, go into your storage system and get it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this Redstone tutorial. If you want to see more Redstone tutorials along with the Megacraft series, go ahead and uh, yeah, stutter it again. Go ahead and tell me in the comments below, and a like ring would be very much appreciated. And if you want to see more cool content like this, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. And other than that, guys, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. This has been Sean the Gamer, and I hope uh, this has been Sean the Gamer, and I will see y'all later. Goodbye.